Today, I will be using my custom built baby here, the Polestar F2 engine. You can see on the inside. Okay, lots of red stuff, drop stock from rocks. Knock off handguard because I couldn't afford it at the time, but I really like it. Uh, Tokyo Arms outer barrel, red, nice and flashy. Offsman flashlight, not the highest lumens, but I'm not trying to kill anyone's eyes. Appreciate that. Yeah, there's a lot of guys that run yeah, like yeah, yeah. 2,000 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's perfect. Great trigger really? response. My girlfriend's gun. Oh, also oh. my build. Ooh. Tap airsoft. Handguard. Nice and short. Yeah, Very yeah. nice. <laughs> uh, also a drop sock from Tap. Pretty good too. But this is running a Polar Star Jack. It's a little bit of a cheaper build, but it's also much lighter mm. than most builds. Like, so light. Harry's <laughs> <laughs> RDB? Yeah. Very nice. Did you just pick it up? Uh, had it for maybe two months or so. Like, How's it shooting so far? Uh, it shoots great. I actually just upgraded the barrel and uh, put in a maple leaf pop up in there. Nice. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it shoots well tonight. Excellent. What else are you running? Uh, I got that and then. Uh, M4, right? Nice. So gas full bag, AEG bags, all that stuff too. So, yeah. Simo Mutant. The Platinum. No, the Hybrid. Is it a bag for that guy? Is that just a. They came back. Yep. So, what is the control though? Respector. And uh, control mag for it. Combat Master. Is that the uh, WD? No, I think it's the uh, EMG one. Nice. Crytek? Crytek, same thing as his. He's copied nice. me. Um, yes, and I'm just... Let's see, this this guy works out tonight. It's like a 1911 variant, I think. Yeah, you want to see your pink P90? Yeah, I, I really oh, want to see that pink P90 if you don't mind. It's just a it's a SEMA P90. I just spray painted the pink for fun. Because the memes and the anime. Excellent, excellent. And I got a TM high cap. Just, uh, just an upgraded pop up. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Honestly, I would just run a high cap and stock and I'd still get killed there. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's really, it shoots really nice. It's just the click of the trigger is just really nice. So what we got here is the GHK M4. Modified as much as possible because a lack of parts for GHKs, but everything's done. Barrel, hop up, trigger, just waiting on a bolt. Shoots laser beams. This is the AEG full build. Spectre Mark II. SHS internals. VF sizzle. VFC, stoner body. With real guys they rail. The rose pink uh, knockoff riser. Can't go wrong with that. Built by 81 Customs. You have enough videos about my guns, don't need more. <laughs> <laughs> Just an uh, LCT AK, pretty stock, um, power socket light, um, hollow sun sight, and then this uh, giant tracer that doesn't fit under the uh, thing. Nice. That's all for me. Sweet, man. I like your case. Thanks, man. You running a pistol too? Yeah, I got uh, just this completely stock uh, BFC clock. Gen 5? Yeah. How do you like it? Uh, it's gonna be my first day with it, so Ooh, hopefully, okay. uh, hopefully it runs well. Awesome, thanks for sharing. Yeah, of course not. Yeah. Using a Matador Destroyer? I oh, don't know, it's a shotgun. It's H HPI tapped. Excellent. I bought a mag adapter, but I found the shells are more fun. Yeah, right? Yeah. Honestly, uh, do you shoot it in three shot mode or six shot mode? I, will, I, I, I usually leave it at three because I think the other three are. Uh, are like kind of a waste, they always like spread out. But yeah. one day I left, I accidentally left it on six and I just left it on six and that's like... <laughs> True, true. Are you running a pistol as well? Yeah. It's a KJW M9 that I got from one of your uh, mystery boxes. Ah, excellent. It doesn't really like green gas mags, so I've been trying to use red gas. Mm. We'll, we'll see if it works. Hey bro, so I'm gonna be shirt. using a Umarex uh, Elite Force Block 19X, gas blowback. 
first, uh, it was my second game, first with my own gun, and this will be it. All right. Yeah. I've customized it a bunch of a bunch of 3D printed parts. Nice. So they got like hexagon grips on it. I think it's pretty cool. What's the so you said the base was a SEMA? Yeah, it's a SEMA. Cool. cool. They got a 74M. Nice, nice build, man. Yeah, sick. Um, air platform. For me, uh, electric is easy because I don't want to have to deal with you know gas springs and all that at home. For sure. uh, so I run the Crytek. I run a tracer round. I have a. Um, a nice light on the end of it, and then I'm running a, vort or a Vortex Crossfire for the optic. And uh, we're running Ear Pro with comms, some Bang 22s for when it gets a little gnarly. We run a little bit of uh, El Cheapo Baofeng for uh, for some comm talk. I run the same ones, yeah. they're great. Uh, if you can come over here, we've got my, my loadout kit here. Tim Horton's, of course, the most important thing. Um, and this is all just your, your get up. And then for my tag stuff, Running the uh, um, the the M Flux helmet when we want to use it, and the Infinis AC1 by T Rex Arms. This thing is killer. I recommend it to anybody. Uh, and then your regular uh, regular battle belt, and also from T Rex Arms, which is the Ragnarok. Highly recommend this. It's amazing. Uh, med kit. That's just for show. Unless someone actually needs a tourniquet. Uh, this is for um, holding needs. Dunk pouch. 5.56, five, 9mm, hard case, and on, I'm running a Smith & Wesson 2.0, um, and that I'm running an X300 on the tip of that, and otherwise you're good to go. Alright, yeah, and is that uh, Tokyo Marie? This is a Tokyo Marie, yeah, nice, I love nice. it. She's a good one. Hard to get max for it though, just yeah. like the real thing, pain in the ass, go for Glock. Go for Glock. Go for Glock, yeah. always easy to get parts. <laughs> Got an ARP 5.56, five, uh, you know, cheapo Amazon site. Amazon flashlight, you know. I like the build, man. That's yeah. the right way. Yeah, keep it simple. I just got a tracer unit for it too, so we might be able to play with that tonight. All right, it's gonna be all light tonight, so it's perfect. There you go. Perfect yeah, yeah. I told you. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be at uh, PRZ tomorrow morning. So. This guy's going up to Pinkton. Pinkton for 4:30 in the morning. The next case. Should yeah. be fun. And we we got a nice. Uh, we started running the push and talks. And these are game changers when you're trying to communicate mid-game and you're actually in a firefight, or firefight in airsoft anyway. <laughs> um, and these things are easy to grab, especially with gloves on. And when things are like moving fast and you want to communicate with your team, the push talks are absolutely uh, vital for that. Awesome. So is having fun. <laughs> having fun is vital too. Currently using an ENC Mark 18, uh, stock internals, uh, micro uh, T1 red dot, w, WE Glock 19. Um, haven't used it in forever, but uh, who knows for tonight. Alright. An APS Red Dragon M4. Uh, it's got a really nice gold gearbox inside there. This is my primary M4. Uh, got a standard red dot on there and a really, really, really bright flashlight. So hopefully we can blind some people tonight. And uh, my secondary, you always gotta save room for dessert. I have a custom high kappa, Sophie Murray. And I got a really nice primary airsoft M4 adapter, so we can keep those sprays coming. And it's going to be HPA tonight. Yes sir, chromed out. I'm always a fan of the captain bullets. Oh, they're so good. People get really creative with them, which is why I like them. I just got this today. It's a, it's a Saima MP5 Platinum. I like that rail. Yeah. So you just uh, first time using it today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just kind of kind of out of the box. And is that G36 yours as well? Yes. Who knows that? Uh, it's a GNG G6. Yes. Nice. Cool. Cool. Just another normal M4. <laughs> Does the job? Yeah, like uh, use a torquey motor, inner barrel upgrade, it's a propendus, and a flash, flashlight, something fancy to get up. Actually, cool. <laughs> and what pistol are you running? It's a Woomerx G17. Mm. 
solid, not nice. Yeah. Nothing at all. Yeah. You're a fan, huh? Of the Dome yeah, Rex Box? Yeah. I am as well, I gotta say. <laughs> the, yeah. They're excellent performers. Really good low light games today, which is gonna be pretty hype, pretty sweet. Uh, everyone hopefully has flashlights. If you don't, don't worry, there is enough light that you can still see. Uh, there's gonna be some good games run today. Uh, we do also have a raffle at the end of the day. As you guys signed in, anyone who pre-booked for today should have received two tickets. Anybody who paid for a walk-on.